What's up everybody, Rob Ferretti here and we have an update on the sign. Got us back. All right, not really. Still Gotham Dreamcast. Maybe I'll just put the S at the end and it'll be Gotham Dreamcast. Boston's favorite exotic car rental choice. But uh, when we come in here, you're gonna see most of the cars are out. Uh, this one, we'll see what happens, but this one is just got a PPI. The guy who drove it last weekend wanted it so much he wanted to buy it, made an offer, we accepted it, uh, sent the car for the PPI, but then did not send the wire yet. So we'll see what happens. The wire is supposed to come Thursday or Friday. It seems like a lot of wasted time to do a PPI and do all that stuff if you're not actually gonna buy it but we'll see what happens. That car checked out like amazingly with a PPI. That's cool. Um, this car, I've got my challenge grill over there. I've got this screen and we'll, we'll, I'll get all this stuff done. That screen there is ripped and I was gonna do the Home Depot special and just redo it, but it's probably gonna be pretty half arsed. And uh, I mean, look, it's like, uh, it's like webbing from a screen door. So I was like, oh, I can just use that and make my own. I'm not gonna bother. Got that coming in from fur parts as I had this challenge grill, as I had another horsey. And I also have Fab Speed uh, sent me, it's all the way over there, an exhaust. So this car is gonna get done, uh, exhaust, all that stuff, and it'll be ready to get shipped off for adventure drives coming up in, uh, I don't know, a couple of weeks now. Uh, Bentley, Porsche, only two cars left for the weekend. Everything else is out. I'm really torn. I think I'm gonna get more cars. Uh, the Z06 being down is a problem, but there is a huge update on the Z06. Now, you'll remember uh, we were waiting for Liberty Mutual to respond. They were looking for the call from Darren. Fast forward, uh, I made the video. Uh, you guys all alerted to them like, hey, by the way, you may wanna look into this. They did look into it. And the update there, oh, you know, we'll get to the update in a second. The update is they've accepted coverage. So that's good news. Uh, they stepped up to the plate. They found the phone call. And uh, I think then they're like, okay, we need this, this. And they went back and forth. I spoke to somebody from like the presidential service team, which is a corporate position. Then they handed it back down to the adjuster who initially denied coverage. And uh, they worked through the process. But uh, the fact that they found the phone call and did the right thing, I don't know. It's tough to say. I mean, it's cool that they, they stepped up to it. I've tried to get them to find the phone call before we made the YouTube video. And that made it a little bit more difficult. They didn't. So I don't know if it's, a, it's just Liberty Mutual running its course or it's the power of the internet saying like, hey guys, look into this. Um, and they ultimately did find it. Now, that's good. They found it. They stood up to Darren's uh, uh, representations and uh, all will be right in the world. But I don't even know what the ultimate goal is with that car. I don't think I'm going to repair it. Uh, I don't know. I, I got to see. They're sending over an adjuster now to look at it now that they've accepted uh, responsibility and they're going to be paying out on the claim. We have to see whether it's totaled, not totaled, um, and if it, even if it's repairable, I'm going to lose the entire summer waiting for that thing to get fixed. I may just sell it to somebody else who wants to repair it and move on and get something else. So that's going to fill that void. Uh, I'm also going to get, uh, probably a Maserati convertible, uh, another Lamborghini, another Ferrari. Uh, it's tough. It's like, I always buy cars in the like spring, like April-ish, May. And then I can ride those cars throughout the season, like the 458 last year, and then sell it at the end of the year. I can't really do that this year uh, because we lost so much to the coronavirus. So now I'm starting very late buying cars if I am gonna buy cars. My concern is that, yeah, they'll make money in July and August, but what happens after that if I'm stuck in these cars and there's like a resurgence or something, who knows? So that's gonna be a risk that I'm taking and I will just have to figure that out as it goes. But uh, short, long story short, uh, this one is sold. This one is new. I didn't even make a video on this. This is a 
991.2 uh, Carrera, just a standard Carrera convertible, uh, all wheel drive, and it's got the uh, turbo. And I tried to steer clear of these for a while because I preferred the naturally aspirated ones and I figured other people would as well. But uh, ultimately it comes down to the fact that like after a while you can't keep renting 2015 Porsches, you have to get newer ones. And I was between the 991.2, which this is, or the 992, and I realized that Porsche has been refining the same platform for, I don't know, 50 years. And uh, most customers do not care as long as it's a nice, clean, low mile Porsche that's relatively new. Nobody really cares whether it's a 992 or 991.2. Most, honestly, I don't even think we'd know the difference. So uh, we ended up with this one and it's going out uh, fairly well. This is, this is one that I needed regardless because I sold my Porsche last year. But it's a nice, my, this, see, this, this isn't even clean. This is a dirty car. That's a really dirty car. So you gotta get this thing sorted out, but fires right up. Uh, I got it on a battery tender now. Why not? Let's throw a little super love at you. Little super love. Copping in there. Ugh. Gotta make sure this one's in neutral because this one doesn't require a clutch to start. Gotta go when that says poo. Poo. Yeah, buddy. starting up the car just foul out the plugs the more times you're gonna do it and not drive it but it does need a car wash I will take this thing out for a spin next week sometime there you go there you have it uh, Joseph Savali didn't forget about you that's coming your way um, I think that's the update the Liberty Mutual is the key part uh, that uh, they are stepping up for the claim and I will let you know what the end of the decision is on the uh, Corvette whether we're going to sell it or it gets totaled and they sell it uh, i don't know we'll see but uh i'm happy to report that they did find the call it took a couple of weeks but uh, they found the call they went through the system um and everything is good in the world again so thumbs up or up for Eddie. thank you for watching uh keep an eye out on the channel because that's i'm waiting on felix that's done everything else is good Everything else is good in the world. So uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Rob Ferretti, I will see you tomorrow and I'll get that sign done too. So stay tuned. So you guys are familiar with my other company, Adventure Drives, right? Well, this year we've got two trips coming up. One which is starting in Seattle and ending in Jackson Hole in July. That's going up through the Canadian Rockies, coming down through Banff, Yellowstone, Glacier National Park, and Grand Teton National Park. It's gonna be phenomenal. Also, we're gonna be going to Scotland in October, we're going to be doing scotch distilleries, playing golf at St. Andrews if you want to do that, walking around, seeing lakes, waterfalls, driving the North Coast. It's going to be an amazing trip. Prices start as low as $2,500 per person for the shorter trip in Scotland, about double that for the longer trip in July. If you're interested in going, check out the link in the description.